Welcome back friends, this is Solomon Jagwe. I'm back with another quick insight and today we're going to be talking about the Unreal Engine 5 Preview 1 and talking about path tracing. So in the past guys you've seen me do, a, a, I think it was another video that had to do with the Unreal Engine 4.27 and I did a test over the path tracing to see how well it works. Now in 4.27 it looks really really good and there's some settings that I was able to play with to see how to get like the best lighting inside of a, an apartment. So I have this new apartment right here that I found on the Unreal Engine Marketplace. And so if I go over here, you can see that I, oh, I got it and added it to my account. And if you don't have the Unreal Engine 5, the new, the preview one, all you gotta do is really go to this engine versions over here, click on that. And if you drop down, it will show up as one of the engines available for installing. But because I already have it installed, it doesn't show up. So when you're ready, just install it. And then it will show up just like you see here. Now, I'm very excited because of this video that I did back in uh, February of uh, 20, uh, no, no, this was uh, February 22 when I did my first impressions with Lumen. I was super, super excited. But I also did another video that did well with 4.27. So let's uh, go in just uh, real quick in Android, Android Engine 5. So this is all real time, right? This is incredibly beautiful, incredibly like, it's incredible that we can actually do this in real time. Now, I have a 3090 card, so that's what I'm going to test with to see how well, or, you know, re how responsive this video, I mean, the interface is going to be and also the apartment. And if we can even get close to some of what we are seeing here. Okay. So first things I have to do, I have to go to settings, the project settings. So edit project settings. <coughs> Excuse me. And let's uh, put in ray tracing. And tracing to make sure that uh, ray tracing is enabled. Uh, let's make sure that uh, we are using, let's see, all right, shy, to make sure we're using DirectX 12. So that's all set up. And then I want to go to my engine over here. And I want to check out uh, the rendering part of it. And I want to test with Lumen, you know, and see how it transitions well. So our project is set to Lumen. Our reflection mode is Lumen. I bumped that up, the reflection capture resolution to 1024. So all this is set for Lumen lighting, right? So now we can go in and test to see if our path tracing actually works. So the way you get access to it is you simply go to lit up here and then enable path tracing. Now, this is very similar to uh, like what I would, I would want to expect when I use Octane Render Engine in terms of uh, the accuracy of the you know bounce lighting and all that. So let's see. So this is what you get initially. You know, there's a lot of noise. And when I turn my, you know, viewport over here, the navigation, it's a lot of noise. <laughs> so with this, you won't be able to really get much result out of this because you would have to wait for a long time for the, all this noise to be kicked out. So if you have like a really good machine and a good graphics card, this would work really well. However, let's go ahead and put a, let's see, a console command here, tracing, ray, no, path tracing. Looking for path tracing. And we want to uh, see the display, progressive display. Click on that and do a space bar and put a number one and press enter. Okay. So now on the interface over here, you're going to see the progress of how long it's going to take to get to clean up all the noise. This is how much you would have to wait without that uh, the denoiser, right? So, I mean, it's you're gonna end up with a really accurate result, but every other renderer that I know of has implemented denoiser to speed up the rendering. So what we do is over here on the post-process volume, we're gonna, uh, under the search feature here, we're just gonna type in uh, path tracing. And let's play with these uh, settings over here. So I'm going to enable maximum bounces 
uh, let's try start with seven okay we're gonna do samples so this is how long these samples are gonna and in order to fulfill this number that's the bar would have to go from here all the way to the end to show the completion so we were gonna bump it down to just 10 for now and so now <laughs> actually let's try one so we get like a quick you know something like that so you can see what it's doing uh, let me do 10 okay so we get more responsiveness and actually you can see how fast that is so this is the power of the 3090 card and what you're able to do with this but look at that <laughs> this is path tracing so i can let's go over to the lighting over here you see that so if i were, I were to turn this up to maybe like 50 give it a little bit more time to process again you're still getting really 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 good results so the idea of the way at least I see this being used is uh, if you want to do like a quick, you know, previews of uh, an environment that you're going to be animating in, like adding characters, uh, just using like 10 over here. And then you can also, so this filter width, it, it has to do with uh, the edges of like something like this. Let's go very close over here. Super close like right there okay so you see those uh, the edges right there so if i were to enable the filter width over here and three so you're gonna get sharper edges depending on this number right here and just enable the emissive materials as well and the denoiser is enabled as well so those are the basic settings that i tend to use when i'm using uh, path tracing but clearly it's greatly improved before it wasn't working as well but once they moved it, because I think this was mainly uh, done for the Unreal Engine 4.27, but the fact that now it's in the Unreal Engine 5.0 is very, very, very exciting. So you can see, guys, this is a true path tracing. And the difference is when you do lit mode, you can see the difference here, okay? Uh, but when you turn on path tracing, now you get like the real like shadows that are calculated and the bouncing and all that. And you can actually see it under here. This is where you can see some really good results, path tracing, and then the lit mode. Yeah, <laughs> that is really, really cool. Uh, okay, path tracing, that is really beautiful. And so as you know, as you're working with your short films and you want to create uh, like really realistic environments, uh, I think path tracing has been Improve, greatly improved in the Unreal Engine 5. So I highly, highly, highly recommend it, but also helps to have a good graphics card so you can get results like this, okay? That is so cool. So, so, so cool. Yeah, definitely without a 3090 card, there's no way I would have been able to get results as quick as that, you know? And so when I'm ready to do like a final render, that's when I kick this up to maybe like a hundred to get a, a better result, because you want to give the the renderer enough samples to work with for the denoiser to look great. So that is really what I wanted to share with you today. Uh, today. And I hope uh, <laughs> you're as excited as I am. Uh, again, if you're new to my channel, guys, I kindly ask that you spare a minute to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're alerted when I post a new video. And I'm always, always super grateful to all my patrons out there, you guys. Uh, I truly appreciate your support, guys. Thank you for helping me to get to 13.9 13 13 subscribers, almost to 14,000. So help me get to 20, 100. How <laughs> cool would that be? But uh, I, I really, I'm excited to continue sharing new updates. And uh, as I continue to work with the Unreal Engine 5, I'll share my uh, discoveries to help you with your short films as you <laughs> I, I was a little bit speechless because i could see some of the responses here that is really cool so thank you so much again for joining me today today we just what uh, was just a recap we're doing a test of the path tracing inside of the unreal engine 5 preview one and it looks great just like it did in unreal engine 4.27 so see you next time and guys as always i keep praying for you never give up on your dream May we continue to use these tools to tell our stories. And uh, something else I wanted to point out real quick 
uh, let's first kick out of here to go to lit mode and there's uh, another level that I wanted to show you real quick let's go to content and it's gonna be I believe this is it studio apartment no content apartment 01 let's go to maps and which one let's try maybe this one okay so this one I'm um, right now it's using real-time rendering but there was something else I wanted to show you okay so previously you know when we had mirrors <laughs> This is like anytime that you're looking for a character online and you're wondering if that character is a meta human, uh, you just have to put them in front of a mirror. And of course, this is going to be fixed in the future by Epic Games. But that's how you knew that uh, the character was a, a meta human because they just didn't respond well with mirrors inside of the Unreal Engine 5. Uh, sorry, inside of the Unreal Engine uh, with uh, reflections. So the in path tracing, however, if I go and change from lit mode to path tracing, guess what? Yes, now you can see the eye, uh, the the hair is showing up and the reflection. Now again, for the eyes, there was the, the occlusion. You have to you had to fix the occlusion because it was it wasn't working very well with that. So what you do really is go to the face of the character over here. Let me first uh, kick out of this to lit mode. Select the the face. Uh, double click on the skeletal mesh over here, and then go to the material slots over in the shed, the settings over here. Go all the way to the advanced section and look for the LOD section. It will be something like this. Click on sections. Scroll all the way down to section five, which is the visible eye uh, this is the let me expand this the eye occlusion instance so when you would have to disable this so that it shows up in the reflection because if it's like this it's not gonna work you have like the black like death look so just disable that save and that's how it shows up so once you click over here and switch to path tracing uh, then you'll be able to see now. What is really funny is that as I get closer to the mirror, so it kind of turns to dark. So make sure you do that for the different le levels of detail. But as I go further and further away, I can see the eyes. Okay. So that's another update that uh, MetaHumans now, the hair shader is supported in uh, path tracing. And also the eye occlusion uh, can be turned off so you can see the eyes in the reflection. So thank you so much again for joining me. <laughs> I'll see you next time with another video. Bye for now.